Okay, I am now ready to tackle this film. A24 is the Iron Claw. Written and directed by Sean Durkin, it follows the true story of the legendary wrestling family, the Von Erichs, and the many tragedies that occurred related to the dreaded Von Erich curse. Now, if you know me for a while, I may be a uh, big wrestling fan with some of my moments being some of the greatest moments of all times in wrestling history. It was announced that Sean Durkin and A24 were doing a film about the Von Erichs. I knew I wanted to see this in theaters as soon as I possibly could. With that being said, and going opening weekend, what did I think of The Iron Claw? Well, I'd say that The Iron Claw is a great film. I believe the film has solidified a spot in my top 10 best films of the year list. Even with its flaws such as missing history and certain cutting of events less people to fit the narrative of the film, and a little bit of a rushed third act to get to the ending, I still think the film has a lot of weight to make it great. Starting off with the performances, I think the cast do a great job with their roles. Zac Efron was great as Kevin Von Erich, Jeremy Allen White as Carrie Von Erich was also great, and Harris Dickinson as David Von Erich was another great performance. Even the supporting cast with Lily James as Pam Atkinson and Holt McCallany as Fritz Von Erich all do such a great job with the roles they are given to play. That can be a strong testament of how strong the writing is. The writing in the film has good dialogue and is really focused on making this a character piece film. Although some of it doesn't work as well as they want it to, the cast does a good job of making it stick with their deliveries. I'd say the best example of this is a lot of the uh, conversations between Efron and White are just good examples of exceptional delivery of dialogue that hits you in all the emotional spots. And lastly, the wrestling scenes in this film were amazing. What makes these scenes work is that they feel authentic and real. Chavo Guerrero, who served as the wrestling consultant for them, did a really good job of really directing them on how to make these scenes work. It's not half-assed at all. They go full speed and show the raw energy and passion that is put into the ring. It gives the scenes a sense that is another character that adds to the overall story. It really shows the love and passion that the crew working on the film has for the business, which makes it much more of a great film for the fans of the sport. The Iron Claw was released on December 22nd, 2023 on a budget of $15.9 million. So far in its run at the box office, it has grossed $4.9 million. Overall, The Iron Claw is a great film. Even if you're not a fan of professional wrestling, I still think that the film serves as a good biopic film that will draw you in with its narrative. And I'm gonna give The Iron Claw a final grade of an A. So let me know down in the comments below, do you plan on seeing The Iron Claw and what's some of your favorite sports biopic movies? Until next time, I've been Mac from Mac Reviews, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. This is fun. <laughs> Hello.